Hey everyone, thanks for joining uh, Power App Solutions. Uh, this is our uh, ninth lesson in the enterprise end-to-end -end solution. So uh, now uh, we have an urgent requirement from the business team at the uh, SharePoint Center. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to help them. Uh, they asked us to create a list in the uh, site for Fortune 500 companies recruitment apps. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new list here. And I'm going to go ahead and create it from Excel. And I'm going to upload a file here. I'm going to open this file. And then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, format this as a table. And then I'm going to look at my columns here. That looks good. All right. Let me just make sure that. Yep, these are all there. It's just that they're not visible because the color. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and save this. Just so that it's properly saved and then I'm going to go back here and refresh. Here's my columns. Everything looks good. I can actually. Let's see for the title. Um, in terms of the this is like the rank. I think this being a number is great. Let's use a number here. Let's use uh, for the company name. This would definitely be a single line of text. For the Twitter handle, this can be a single line of text. Um, I'm actually gonna, yeah, keep that single line of text. Um, Twitter ID, we can, um, let's not import the Twitter ID. Um, in fact, I don't wanna import the Twitter ID. Let's say we're not interested in the Twitter ID. Ticker symbol, that's probably gonna be a single line of text. Yep. Uh, CEO name, yep, uh, that can be a um, single line of text, yep. The CEO title uh, can be a single line of text. I'm wondering if choice would be a viable option because there are many that might be quite similar. Um, we can shoot for it, um, but now let's just do single line of text as well. Sector, let's try to do single line of text. Um, let's do choice. Let's do choice. I think we have enough options that are unique that we can do something with that. Uh, industry, let's do uh, also, once again, let's do uh, choice. Keep it interesting. HQ location, single line of text. Uh, website single line of text and years on fortune list is a number. All right, that's really interesting. Okay, I like it. So let's click next here. And um, we'll, we'll rename our list here. Fortune 500 list 12, 16, 23. This list is about Fortune 500 companies. All right, we'll go ahead and create this list. So it's creating that list for us. Let's take a look and see what uh, the fruit of our labors actually puts together for us, right? So stand by here. I'm, um, I presume we may have to just click this X here. Nope, there we go. All right, so here's our data. Um, so let's let me let me move my camera over here. So here's our data. It looks really good. Uh, we can open up any one of these records and see the information around them. Now, here's where I really want to get this and make this really interesting, and I want to kind of uh, blow you away a little bit. Um, I want to uh, integrate this data with 
uh, Canvas app. <clears throat> and I want to be able to create, read, update, and delete this data within a Canvas app in the most seamless and easy way ever. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Integrate here, and I'm going to click on Power Apps, and I'm going to create an app. All right, and we're going to call this CRUD Fortune 500 Canvas app. I'm going to create this app. What this is going to do is it's going to go to Power Platform. It's going to take our uh, list data, and it's going to use that as a data source, and it's going to put together a uh, very simple but yet elegant um, Canvas app that's going to allow us to interact with create, read, update, and delete the records within our SharePoint list. So let's go ahead and play around with this for a second here. So now we've provided the uh, recruitment team uh, that works in the SharePoint business unit with not only the list, but a very cool little app. So let's take a look. Let's play this app out. So let's start there. So if I click plus, my rank can be 501. We'll just say 501, right? My company name is Power Apps Solutions in Minutes. It's not really a real company, but it's it's a concept, right, to help everyone. And my ticker symbol will be P-A-S-I-M. CEO name can be me. And my CEO title can be something simple like principal architect. I'm not about fancy terms or anything like that. And my sector is in technology. It looks like that sector thing works really well. And then industry, computer software, I think works well. And my HQ location is going to be in, um, that's going to be um, Marietta, California. So then if I click this box right here and I check off the box, it's now created a record for me. If I sort in descending order, see if that works, by the way, we'll find out. And since it's sorting by the number, and we'll find out here in a second, let me go down to 500. It thinks nine is the highest number, right? Instead of 500 versus one, but we know that 500 is a larger number than 99, but not in traditional sorting schemes. Nine is higher than five. So um, let's look at 501 and see if I exist in the database. Then let's check SharePoint. There I am. So Power App Solutions in Minutes, I'm a record. Now, you're probably wondering, maybe the record just exists here in the app and, and he just created it here and that's it. Well, let's check. Let's do, it might be a little bit easier for me to search in here, right? Here I am, here's my record. So I can search for myself here, right? Now, another thing, let's find out the schema name of this field real quick. Um, just so that we can really quickly, I wanna, I wanna go ahead and um, sort, uh, be able to make the user experience of this app a little bit easier. And then we'll do a couple little tests so you can see how easy it is to use this application and even enhance it. But this is really cool direct integration between SharePoint and um, and Canvas app. <laughs> so very cool. Or Canvas app or Power app, whatever you want to call it, right? So uh, the column, the column that I'm thinking of here is company name. And company name is literally called company name. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna go back to um, where I was. 
I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to right here, this search box. I just want to make sure that on change. Okay, that looks good. On select, that looks good. And then on the gallery right here, it says starts with, and what I needed to do is starts with company name, right? And then what we're, what we're gonna do here is it's gonna be searching on company name instead. So let's see if maybe there's a problem there. Company name might actually be connected together like this. So let's just make sure that we have this right. Let's make sure because it may actually be called field one or something like that. I, I have found it to be sometimes on the back end called something like field one. So let's try this. If I search for, um, yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. Walmart. There we go, Walmart. So it's field underscore one. It just happens to be, it's field underscore one, underscore two, and SharePoint, that's how they're called. There's either title, field one, field two, field three, field four, field, that's just how SharePoint works. So if I wanna look for Apple, there's Apple, rank four. If I'm interested in Microsoft, in this case, 30, this is probably an old list because Microsoft has gone way up. Um, maybe Tesla. Yeah, old list, right? Yeah. So uh, now uh, let's go ahead and, and, and play around with the app one more time here. Now, what if I wanna update uh, my record? So I created a record, I can see a list of records, so I can create, I can read. Can I update? Let's take a look. I can update here. And let's say that I wanna change my ranking to uh, 999 and uh, I wanna change my CEO title to um, Chief Architect. That sounds kind of cool, Chief Architect. I, I'm, I'm sure it exists. Chief Solution Architect. Maybe one day, and if I'm if I'm lucky in my career, I'll, before I die, I'll become one of those. I'm um, always gonna love doing this type of work. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this work. And look at this right away. Chief Solution Architect is the value I stored here, and um, and I changed my Fortune rank. Now, if I go back to SharePoint. There it is, rank 999 and uh, chief solution architect. So then let's check one more thing. Finally, final, final check. Can I delete this record? I, oh, I can't find it anymore. Let's see, is it gone? Oh, it's gone. So there you have it team. We both, we integrated with SharePoint. We created, so we created a list. From an Excel file of valuable data, we integrated it with uh, a Canvas app. We made a quick change in terms of the uh, the um, searching capability um, on the Canvas app, and we saw that we can create, read, update, and delete on the Canvas app very easily uh, and scalable right away uh, in a mobile fashion. So thank you so much for watching, and we're going to keep moving forward with our end-to-end -end implementation. We have a lot of work ahead of us. I'm very excited. Thank you, and have a great day.